The Panama Canal is an approximately 80 km long ship canal that connects Atlantic and Pacific Oceans across the Isthmus of Panama. The old Panama Canal locks, also known as the Panamax locks, were an engineering marvel in their time. These locks used a system of gates and water flow to raise and lower the ships as they crossed the canal. As a ship enters the lock chamber, massive gates close behind it, creating a contained environment. The lock chamber is then filled with water from the adjacent lake, raising the ship to the level of the next section of the canal. Once the water levels are equal, the gates at the front of the lock chamber swing open, allowing the ship to proceed to the next section. The new Panama Canal, also known as the Panama Canal Expansion or New Locks, was inaugurated in 2016. The expansion project introduced a new set of locks, known as the Panama Canal's Neo Panamax Locks. This $5.2 billion canal expansion project added a third set of locks to the 102-year-old canal. One of the most noticeable differences is the size. The Neo Panamax locks are significantly larger than the original locks, both in terms of length and width, allowing for the passage of significantly larger ships known as the New Panamax vessels. The chambers of these new locks have 427 meters of usable length when both sliding gates are closed. With a width of 55 meters and a depth of 18 meters. The new locks can accommodate new Panamax vessels, which can be up to 366 meters long, 49 meters in beam, and with a maximum draft of 15 meters. These massive ships transiting from the new Panama Canal can transport up to 14,000 containers stacked as tall as a 15-story building. The gate system in the new Panamax locks has also evolved. The new gates are larger, more robust and equipped with advanced hydraulic systems for smoother operations. Unlike the straight walls of the old locks, the new locks have curved side walls, which distributes the water pressure more evenly, enhancing the safety and efficiency. One innovative feature of the new locks is the water-saving basins. These basins, located at both ends of the locks, collect water and recycle it, significantly reducing the water consumption with each lock cycle. Each basin is approximately 70 meters wide and 5.5 meters deep. Each lock chamber is equipped with three water-saving basins which can supply or receive water from the chamber to increase or decrease the water levels inside the basin and make it equal to the next chamber so that the ship can proceed ahead. This allows 7% less water usage as compared to the old locks. When the ship comes inside the lock chamber, the vessel is secured using the headline and spring line fore and aft. After that, the lock gates are closed and the chamber is either filled or emptied. Once the chamber is in the required water level, the next gate is opened and all the lines are cast off so that the ship can proceed further. Unlike the old lock which uses locomotive mules to guide the ship inside the canal locks, the new canal does not need such locomotives. The role of tugboats has become even more crucial in the new locks than the old locks. These powerful tugboats help guide the larger ships through the lock chambers. The new locks are largely decreasing the instances of bottlenecks, lowering the average transit time by rendering increased capacity and allowing for the transit of post-Panamax vessels. We hope that you learned something new today. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get a notification once we publish similar videos on maritime topics.